What's up, guys, and welcome back to Beyond the Void Horror Podcast. My name is Alex, and today we're going to be doing a spoiler-free review of a new Halloween movie that's out on Hulu called Appendage. So let's get into it. It's party time, yeah! These evil people have just got to be stopped. It's Void so yeah i never heard of this movie i didn't really know anything about it i just knew that there was going to be a horror movie coming to hulu streaming for their new Halloween, and i was kind of excited because they've had a few good ones already you know with no one will save you already being an alien movie that was really damn good that a lot of people are really enjoying and i was kind of curious to see what this kind of movie would be now this is going to be a little bit more weird <laughs> than that movie but i think it's weird in a good way this is actually about a young fashion designer whose life is sort of spiraling out of control and she's sort of getting into her darkest most inner thoughts and they start to manifest outside of her in a way into something extremely gruesome and <laughs> kind of silly but it just won't stop growing and it eventually becomes a problem and a metaphor in this movie now this is a debut feature film for Anna Zlokovic who has actually done a lot of like short films and things including for Halloween before actually she did did something called Bite Size Halloween on Hulu, and I, I believe it was on Hulu, but she's done this before, but now she's finally able to do her full feature film, and I gotta say, I really kind of enjoyed it. I wasn't over the moon about this movie, but I was having a really good time watching it. Now, it's gonna be on the fence for a lot of different people for multitude different reasons, because this is a very kind of gore heavy, but more body horror centric kind of film that deals with some serious yet schlocky elements like there's this dichotomy that's going on the entire time of the film that has a meaning and a purpose and this like really in-depth thing that's actually kind of a serious thing but Anna kind of wrote and directed this in a way to make it feel like a fun sort of dark humorous adventure which you know dealing with such a dark subject matter of you know hating yourself or depression or you know these things that we deal with on a daily day-to-day -day basis that you know that puts a heavier finer point on it and then kind of making fun of that situation is kind of i don't know i think it's kind of awesome <laughs> now this isn't the first film i've actually seen that has dealt with these sort of kind of tropes before it's been done in other movies similarly but not as uh serious maybe I don't know there's a couple of films that have kind of popped up in my mind a little bit and I don't want to explain too much because I feel like if I tell you those movies then you'll probably think oh it's gonna be just like that but just just remember this is very very finely a, a different movie but similar to these in another way it's not gonna be the same movie but I think of movies like Bad Milo or you know Frank Henenlotter's like Basket Case or something like that but this is a much deeper movie the acting is much more serious than any of those and uh yeah it's it's just kind of fun and dark and weird and uh, i don't know like you're just like what the fuck is going on <laughs> so the characters are like really cool and interesting i actually really like them i wasn't really feeling the relationship in the film between the main character this girl named hannah who is dealing with these sort of issues she has a best friend and uh, a boyfriend and her boyfriend and her are kind of having these issues and she starts doubting herself while she's she and her best friend are actually working for a sort of like a designer who is kind of putting them to the challenge to develop their newest finest work which in a way is just kind of like using them in a way or so it feels because he's kind of putting them task you know and like being super critical over their artwork but i really kind of like the way that they deal with this creature and this sort of thing that's going on in here because it's very physical and schlocky in some ways but also very serious and deep like i keep mentioning so these two i think ultimately are going to confuse some people i seem to see this like when you mix these specific two elements together which i find kind of masterful a lot of people need it to be pushed into one category or another i've noticed you know movies like malignant <laughs> you know which they have this like overall tone that's kind of fun and silly and not to be taken too seriously those are kind of movies that divide people in a lot of ways so it kind of i don't know what it is but it just seems like nowadays people need to have a direct 
thing and it's got to be this box not that box you know you can't mix the two god forbid and personally i like when they mix different elements to try to make something unique so in a way this movie is very unique in that regard and it does different things tonally that i think are going to confuse a lot of people in some ways but for those of us who have been around the block maybe for a while might actually really enjoy it my personal thoughts are is it's a fun kind of dark depressing tale that is dealing with sort of body horror and creatures and schlock and humor and and like actual meaningful stuff there's kind of like a artsy sort of i don't know style to the schlock in this movie so it's not necessarily schlock it's just kind of some people are going to look at it and be like oh my god that doesn't look realistic but it's like it's really not the point of it because this movie kind of lives in two spaces it's like part fable-ish kind of metaphorical and it's also kind of part serious and funny so it's like this weird mix of stuff I think it was well shot. I think the acting is pretty damn decent, though. Uh, it's not the best acting I've ever seen, but it's damn good for this particular movie and this kind of independent film. So, yeah, it, you're not going to have a hard time watching it. I particularly enjoyed all the ladies' performances in here. You know, everybody did a, a fairly decent job in here. I think the lead was really good. There's a woman named Claudia in this film that does really good. The best friend and the boyfriend. It all kind of works together in this weird, very current feeling thing. I don't know how to explain it. You'll see. So if you get into any of that stuff and don't mind the alchemy of it all, <laughs> it's kind of interesting to see it all kind of be blended together. So I think Anna did a wonderful job and I congratulate her because I think this is a damn fine coming out the gate kind of movie. It shows a sense of humor. It shows a sense of depth and it shows that she can actually direct a, a really good film. And I'm kind of impressed with it and I can't wait to see more from her. Now, I wasn't over the moon about this, but for an independent feature film like this to be their first debut film i mean it's close to an eight and i would say maybe like a 7.5 out of 10 but i'm like on the cusp because it's so unique but also in the same regard i've seen other movies that kind of deal with this metaphor so i i'm, I'm struggling with giving it a number but one thing's for sure, I think you should at least check it out, especially if you have Hulu, the subscription service, and check it out, see what you think of it. For Halloween, I mean, come on, it's a new horror movie, you can check it out. If you have a sense of humor, and if you can kind of get into schlocky movies like Basket Case or Bad Milo and uh, like a little bit more depth to it, this might be a movie for you. So I think you should check it out. It's up on Hulu now. Let me know what you think about the trailer. I honestly think you should just dive right in and just kind of watch it because I was kind of taken back back this movie like gets started instantly it doesn't waste any time and it's like the mystery starts kind of unfolding as you go so i don't know i felt kind of elated while watching it but the ending wasn't exactly what i wanted but it makes total and perfect sense metaphorically so i don't know i i, I need to watch it again i'm probably going to watch it again before the end of the year see if it even fits in my top but i think it's a fun film and i think it definitely deserves some attention so check it out but yeah thank you guys so much for coming by and supporting the channel Voidtober has officially begun. As you saw from the intro here, we are doing Voidtober. And yes, we appreciate you guys celebrating it with us. It's our version of Halloween. We'll be doing stuff on the YouTube. And don't forget, we do have a podcast that you can check out where my girlfriend and myself talk about horror movies that are old and new, everything. And we get really into it. So it's, it's a lot of fun, a lot of back and forth. But uh, yeah, thanks for coming by, guys. And as always, long live the void. void.